All right, so the rando turbo thoughts. So the basic idea is, let's go, man. Good, Staying alive? Yeah, hanging in there. Yo, I like the longboard, man. Thanks. Um, yeah, so, all right, so some thoughts on uh, how to become more creatively productive. So I think I'm probably one of the most creatively productive people that at least I know. And uh, let me share with you some of my secret sauce. So, uh, some practical things. First of all, like I upload videos, I upload stuff. I've disabled all the stats on all of my stuffs. So my mood doesn't get fucked up by how many views I got, how few views I got and stuff like that. Cause you know, truth be told, like every time I accidentally see, you know, my subscribers or my videos or my views or my likes or dislikes or whatever, you know, it's always a little bit discouraging because it feels like you're doing something wrong. It's kind of like, obviously it's like, you know, if you follow the stock market or if you got stocks, click your numbers go up and down so much it's uh, probably not good for your mental or physiological health. It's like, it's almost like you're ejecting stress hormones and euphoria hormones like a trillion times a day. Probably not good in terms of homeostasis. So basically my gist is I don't want no numbers, no algorithm, no nothing to fuck up with my own personal self-esteem. So how do I get my self-esteem and why am I so self-confident? Is because, well, self-confidence means to confide in oneself, to have faith in oneself. Confides, you know, fides, faith. And when you have faith in yourself, that essentially means that you have the courage to take responsibility for how your life kind of turns out or how it doesn't turn out. And it's also like, I think for me it's like, um, not, not worrying too much about my personal happiness or my well-being or my worth or whatever where I'm actually much more interested in just like having fun and just kind of enjoying the, the process. So for me, like this is my personal ideal is that, you know, I like the idea that I could be like jacked into the matrix. You know, I got the, the plug in the back of my head and I could just keep streaming myself full on forever. Now, you know, there's a lot of gamers who make their life, you know, just doing the the live streaming thing. I kind of like this notion of live streaming where even for myself, I'm just streaming, streaming myself. I'm streaming my life, my thoughts, my visions. And I'm not really moralizing it. I'm not like saying, oh, this is good, this is bad, whatever. It just, you know, I'm just trying to have fun with it and I'm uh, giving myself free license to kind of fuck around with it, have fun. And probably the best compliment I ever get is when people meet me in my workshops and stuff like that, they're like, wow, Eric, you're exactly like you are in your YouTube videos, which is like fantastic for me because that's the goal is I want to become one singular human being. Like there's no separation between, you know, Eric Kim, the the person on the internets in Eric Kim in real life. And I, I feel like, yeah, this is, this is a very important thing because man, so many people out there, so fake. I think to be fake is probably the worst thing one could be like, even when I was a kid growing up, right? Like to front or to fake or to pretend like you're something you're not was kind of the worst thing that one could be. So for example, I had all, I know so many kids in high school and middle school who like pretend to be fake gangsta whereas fucking they live in the burbs and they have like a nice ass family and they go to private school whatever. I'm like, yo dude, just like, you don't got a fake front. Just be who you is. And like even, uh, 
I think Dr. Dre says is he's, he has one of his songs in his last Compton album. It's called Satisfaction. He's like, man, you shouldn't be so, uh, so ashamed to just be yourself. And why is it that people are so ashamed to be themselves? I mean, I think it's because they were never encouraged to be themselves. Like they didn't have encouraging parents or, you know, whatever their societal things was, it kind of screwed them up. And you know, I'm just, my biggest fortune, and what I'm grateful for is, you know, essentially my mama taught me to have high self-confidence in myself, so I'm, I'm very grateful to her uh, for that. So I mean, obviously a lot of it is just kind of luck too, is that like, if you're raised in the right society, the right neighborhood, the right conditions, you just become more self-confident. But anyways, um, and just kind of realize that anything could be trained. So I was thinking about it. I used to be a very shy kid. And I essentially had to become more courageous and brave, kind of by necessity. Because, yo, if he's in any sort of real life situation, if you don't toughen up, you're gonna be eaten for food. So that's where I think Jay-Z gets his, his strength because he had to endure all these things to help him become who he is today. And even lots of respect for Kanye because for him to have a true opinion that's his own and as a consequence burn bridges with 99.99% .99 of people around him to me that's the ultimate like even I think it was the Roman senator or one of the Roman dudes named uh, Cleon he essentially disavowed all his friendships in order to become a politician with no ulterior motives which kind of earned the chagrin of uh, most of his friends and constituents. But anyways, so I think that's a hard thing about being a true individual is that you're always afraid of burning bridges with people you care about, people you love and stuff like that. But I think that's where we really need to need that extreme courage to to really say what's really, really on your mind to not self-censor yourself and to have true, legitimate, authentic beliefs that which are your own personal truths. Because I think we, we got to remember there's no such thing as ultimate truth. All truth is just subjective. And whenever anyone says there's an ultimate truth, they are just uh, misguided. So, yeah, so what is, is our role and our duty? So, obviously you could do whatever you want in your life. Your life is up to you. But my suggestion and my thought is just live life in accordance with your own personal beliefs, with your own personal morals and ethics, and have the courage to not let nobody bully you. Because Everyone's trying to bully you into thinking this and that, to be politically correct, blah, blah. And sometimes when someone disagrees with you, the best thing you do is do the whole... Right? So, you know, even just telling people to fuck off, could be um, the most patriotic thing one could do. So, because I think, okay, this is, this is my thought too. Most people are actually very closed-minded and when they engage you with any sort of discussion, 
they're not actually trying to have a constructive or a generative conversation with you which brings new insights they're actually just trying to prove you wrong and now my thought is I don't have any ultimate right or wrong in life so I have a lot to learn from other people that's why I like to ask a lot of people questions and people kind of tend to get suspicious of me because they're like why is this guy asking so many questions it's because like I'm like yo I'm just like respectful of you I think that actually I can learn something from you and that's why I'm asking you so many questions and and so for me one of the things I actually admire most in people is a spirit of open-mindedness where you know they're open to having their opinions refuted But but when you're engaging in most people, this is what I'm just trying to do is that like I'll ask people open and question, kind of like the Socratic method is like you're just like ask me, oh, you know, why do you think or believe X, Y, and Z? And And certainly our, our personal goal is to augment our knowledge and wisdom to the fullest maximum. And so for us to be open-minded, essentially is just the most logical way we could augment our knowledge and our wisdom. And this is where all of my, the people's I personally trust or I care for their opinion is people who are not employed by a corporation or anything else because sooner or later you're going to be suckered into thinking uh, other thoughts rather than having your own and or p trust people who spend too much time following the news and stuff like that even like for the most part I don't trust any anyone who is an academic so typically people who's employed by a university or any sort of higher learning or school, stuff like that. I typically um, grade their opinion a little bit lesser or weight it a little bit lesser because once again, you're forced to follow certain norms and beliefs. So, Whose beliefs should you believe? Obviously believe in your own beliefs, but also like it is useful to ask the opinion of everyone you meet, but I would actually encourage you to put more weight on people who is like kind of more like self-owned. So typically people who work kind of like more menial labor jobs, like, you know, construction worker, firefighter, um, you know, custodian, janitor, stuff like that. Their job is to just do whatever laborists work in order to just make a living. And so as a consequence, they're actually more, they have more freedom of mind. They could just say whatever they really, really think. Whereas a lot of other people working for a corporation or academy and stuff like that in college, they're afraid of losing their jobs or their reputation. So they typically tend to not have as much unique ideas and stuff like that. Um, so, what a nice search. Nice little flowers. So, to me in life, one of the greatest joys I get is having deep philosophical conversations with other people. And so, I would just encourage you to don't do unto others as you don't want others to do unto you. And for the most part, kind of try to treat other people the way you would like to be treated. So, uh, and this is actually funny too. Typically people are like, oh, don't interrupt people, blah, blah, right? But like when other people interrupt me, I, don't actually, I actually don't really care. And so I feel no moral qualms about interrupting people. But at the same time, I don't like it when people totally dismiss my thoughts or when I ask people serious questions and they don't actually give me a serious answer. And so now, whenever people ask me anything, 
I should kind of give it some serious thought and, you know, I'm not gonna totally dismiss other people's thoughts and opinions and rather think to myself, I'm like, hmm, you know, I might be wrong. And it's not even being right or wrong, it's more of like, just sharing a certain perspective with others. Yo, check this out. Mushroom, mushroom, badger, 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 right? So, and this is actually one of the, the great joys I have from blogging and vlogging and walking around is that, you know, I could just kind of share some turbo thoughts with you and uh, I don't know, maybe give you some company or something like that. So, oh, nice day. So if you're curious, this is 4K, Lumix G9, 30 FPS. So I don't hit no stupid 10 minute recording limit that often happens to me when I'm shooting 60 FPS. Hmm, nice day, nice day. All right, so Know that life is beautiful. Think about all the adventures you have yet gone on. And it seems like the greatest joy in life. Just share your opinion and share your perspective with others.